Now we're going to do problem set two of our derivatives and logs of exponential, focusing on the derivative of natural log equations, presented by www.free-academy.com. To get things started with the really easy problem, we're going to do the ln of x. Now recall that our formula for these problems is going to be the derivative of ln of u equals u prime over u. So these are like practically no-brainer problems. Whatever we're taking the natural log of is our u. We take the derivative of that and divide it by the original. So our derivative, uh, well, to be rigorous, let me write this out. u equals x, the derivative of u, u prime equals 1. So the derivative of ln of x equals 1 over x. Very, very, very simple problems. Um, again, let's go on to the derivative of the natural log of x squared. u equals x squared, and u prime equals 2x. So this derivative gives us 2x over x squared, which simplifies to 2 over x. Now, I chose the natural log of x squared very specifically because I want to demonstrate that the rules of logarithm hold up. Keep in mind that when you have the natural log of x to some power, uh, let me just write this general as a, that's all a mess. Okay. When you have the natural log of a function raised to a power, that's the equivalent of a times the natural log of u. We finally got that out. We can just take the exponent and push it in front and multiply it by the natural log. So, in our case of ln of x squared, this is the equivalent of 2 ln of x. Now recall that the derivative of ln of x equals 1 over x, and by the constant rule we pulled the 2 out in front. So our derivative of 2 ln of x equals 2 times 1 over x, which equals 2 over x. The exact same answer that we got by doing the derivative directly. So uh, that's uh, something really nice to point out because it's really important that when we do mathematics, things are self-consistent. If we got a different answer doing it this way, as we did use in the formula, we would have quite a problem. Um, to lighten things up a little bit, let's take the derivative of sine of x. u equals sine of x, u prime equals cosine of x. So our derivative equals cosine of x over sine of x, which is cotangent of x in simplified form. One more to demonstrate the rules of logarithms. Really nice. We're going to take the derivative of the natural log of e to the x squared. Now we are going to use our uh, formulas that we have here to simplify this before we even try to solve it. So this um, derivative of natural log e to the x squared using the exponent rule we're going to get the derivative with respect to x of x squared times the natural log of e. Recall that the natural log of e equals 1, so this is the derivative of x squared, which equals 2x. Now, I didn't work this out on paper before I did this, so let's hope that it works out using our formula. u equals e to the x squared and u prime equals, sorry, u prime, not u squared, u prime equals 2x e to the x squared. So our formula then, I'm going to write over here where I have some more room, is 2x e to the x squared divided by e to the x squared. And lo and behold, our e to the x squareds cancel out, and we get 2x, which is once again the same. 